Hello. Yes. Um, Keelan Swallow once again with episode two of VCR, the Visual Communication Republic. And as promised on the last episode that we dropped on the 25th of December uh, on Christmas. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, check it out, check it out right now. It's available on YouTube. It's available on Audius. Um, it's available on Spotify. All right. But I did promise on that episode one right um that we are i'm going to be taking you guys through um branding and obviously a few um tricks and tips all right and and, and added information breaking down not so complex um words within the marketing and media um industry just for uh, you guys to understand and i'm going to start off by explaining what does a graphic designer do and why you need a graphic designer all right I'm gonna take it from there and then I'm gonna be speaking about the introduction, um, which is the face of your company. We're gonna be speaking about a logo and we're also gonna be speaking about what a logo really is or what a logo design is. We're also gonna be speaking about what does a graphic designer do. We're gonna be speaking about the different types of logos and styles. We're gonna be speaking about um, how you can get your own um, logo done. That's, that's a very interesting spot. You want to you want to stick around for that. Um, we're going to be speaking about um, how much does a logo design cost and how long does it take to get it done. We're going to be speaking about that. And we're also going to be speaking about what the benefits are of having a company logo. And we are going to be concluding this as well. All right. Because I'm going to be guiding you guys through it. Um, so take, my, take, take advantage of my 17 years, almost two decades of experience um, in this and dive in with me into the visual communication republic and this is episode two and here we go vcr the visual communication republic available on spotify anchor fm swag journal and bezier hosted by art director keelet swallow the swag journal your ear to the streets right so what does a graphic designer do Apart from being um, serial video gamers and creative weirdos, graphic designers happen to be the medium texturing the majority of information around us, if not all of it. All right? Most are often creatively inclined, which works to their client's advantage. In most cases, affording them a fresh variation when it comes to creative solution, well fit for their marketing graphics and stationery. Now we're gonna be talking about what type of stationery we're talking about over here. We're not talking about pencils and sharpeners and and you know color pencils and crayons and no. We're talking about um, the corporate um, type of stationery, your business cards, your um, letterheads, your you know everything that comes out from your company must speak the same language, and we call this your stationery. And when it's branded, trust me, it does magic. Um, as we continue, but before we get carried away with social media websites or corporate stationery, it is highly recommended to start with a good logo design. All right, good logo design. I asked you guys, um, we actually have a poll that's currently um, running. Um, it'll be running till the 24th of February, um, 2023, all right? And you guys can win yourself free social media branding for your Facebook. And it's very simple, there's no right or wrong. Um, and so all you gotta do is just let us know which one of the three logos you think um, came out with the better rebrand. And we're talking f &B. You guys have seen the new f and logo. Um, all my people in South Africa know they've seen that. APSA rebranded a long time ago. We just thought we'd throw it in there um, as well. They rebranded as well. APSA is, is on the poll. It's just three, three financial companies. The next one is an international one, is Payoneer. Payoneer. Hey, I hope I'm saying that right. But in any case, I'm going to continue with this. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm not going to be going through everything on this episode too. So I want you guys to subscribe, right? Because I don't want to make these um, too long. So subscribe so you know exactly when it's going to drop. Because I did say that we're going to be dropping it every Saturday. I'm um, sorry, every Sunday um, at 7 o'clock. But I, I figure, you know... Um, um, it can drop any Sunday. As a matter of fact, it can drop any day during the week. But what I will most likely do is make sure that um, with every two weeks, I drop something for y'all because we do promise to announce winners every two weeks for that social media branding, for that poll competition that we got running. And if you haven't signed up or voted for it yet, I suggest you go down and vote. Um, social media branding is very, very necessary. But you will see as we go through, um, you know, these little uh, podcasts where I'm trying to school you guys. 
on the things you need and why you need those things. You know, the same things that makes um, Coca-Cola such a big company, the same things that makes Nike such a big company. If you want to be one of the greatest, you got to learn from the greatest. So I'm here to give you guys the intel. I got the intel. I got the experience. And I got some stories for y'all. Now I want to share a story with y'all. All right. Uh, and I'm telling you right now that on episode three, we're going to be getting into um, the face of your company. But I'm going to leave you here for episode two. <laughs> Sorry to tease y'all. Um, but there's a few things I just want to get through. So I want to tell you guys, like I said, I'm going to be sharing my experience now. Um, like I said, so you guys just heard about a graphic designer. Um, what is a graphic or what is a, what does a graphic designer do? All right. And and they they happen to design majority of the information around you, if not all of it. Everything you see from um, your labels, your brands, your billboards boards um, motion graphics on your you know nowadays we're in the age of people scrolling down their phones on social media most most of the ads you've seen nowadays um, is uh, motion graphics all of it starts with the design and all of it starts with the logo we're gonna be talking about that the logo is the face of your company we're gonna be talking about that on episode 3 so you want to subscribe and know when episode 3 is dropping but right now I want to tell you guys a little bit story about what I thought a graphic designer um, did all right um, you see, when I was back in 2006, I'll tell you guys a little story back in 2006, I think 2005, I matriculated 2006, um, I would, um, so I wanted to take a gap year, and my parents were like, no, you ain't taking no, no gap year, I was like, nah, 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 gap year means you trying to relax forever, and I'm like, nah, man, I'm just trying to figure it out, and, 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 you know, at that point in time, all I could do was draw, you know, and, and something, well, I figured I can't. I cannot be an artist like Leonardo da Vinci. I cannot be an artist like Michelangelo. I cannot be a, an artist like Raphael in this in day age. So there must be a certain way, well, some way that artists are making money. And when I looked into it, when I asked a couple of questions, a couple of people were like, "Yo, why don't you do graphic design? I think you'll be good at graphic design." Now, in paragraph two, I'm um, on this article that I will share. Um, if you subscribe, you will get a link to it that I will share. And paragraph two says, "Most are often creatively inclined, which works to the client's advantage." Now, I happen to be one of those who is creatively inclined. That's one of the things um, that I think I was maybe uh, blessed with, um, or maybe the passion for. I don't believe in talent, by the way. I don't believe in talent at all. There's no such thing as talent. I'll tell you guys why. If you want to know, let me know. If you guys want me to get into that in a particular podcast, I'll tell you guys why I don't believe in talent. Um, but in any case, so it's one of the things that I'm passionate about. It's one of the things that I've always done is draw. All right, I've always drawn. I still draw till today. Um, as a matter of fact, there's a comic book that we're going to draw um, that you guys should look out for. Um, both for a busy and, and there's another cre um, creative brand that I'm putting together called 33. It's actually a clothing brand. But in any case, so I had no idea what a graphic designer did. All I know, all I knew was that they put things together, like labels, things like logos, and then. Um, you know, I figured if I could draw, because that's one of the things that happens within the process of, of getting a, a logo design. Now, if you're getting a unique logo design, trust me, any artist will tell you or any graphic designer will tell you that you got to start on um, pencil and paper. You know, start there, um, put your idea together. You know, you don't just rush to, 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 to the PC. I don't know, I'm old school like that. <laughs> I'm old school like that. As a matter of fact, if I tell you 2006, um, Adobe was not as big as it is right now. Macromedia, we, um, when I was first um, getting into getting into school, we had um, 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 an application called Macromedia. We had Macromedia Freehand, Macromedia Dreamweaver, and Photoshop was a part of Adobe, but Adobe had not yet acquired uh, Macromedia Freehand, which later on became Illustrator, which which is um, uh, the software that you create logos with. For all for all those that are listening that are aspiring um, graphic designers, you will hear of Adobe Illustrator. But in the courses that we're going to be bringing out, the broad courses that we're going to be bringing out, I'm going to be teaching you guys with the open source, open source software, meaning you ain't got to pay a single dime. Because these softwares are very expensive. The cost are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. Like we're talking like twenty-six thousand to get yourself a nice batch of um, an application that you can use to make some money. Now you can make a lot of money as a graphic designer, guys. So you want to stick around if you're really interested. Um, if you really, 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 really interested, I suggest you sign up and wait for the Bros um, courses that are coming out. Like I said, we're going to be teaching graphic design with open source softwares. So Inkscape is going to replace that. But in any case, I'm going to be speaking to um, you know my corporate officials that we use. The illustrator I'm gonna be speaking to because I know how to use both. Now it's not about how you use, it's not about what you use, it's about how you use it. I'm gonna teach you guys that. Alright? But in any case, I'll tell you guys a story. So so here I am an artist coming out of school and um, you know and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, but I already know that I need to use this thing that I can do because 
I might as well. <laughs> so um, I took a graphic design course and then I went for my orientation on the day. Um, Open Window was one of the only schools at that point in time in the country that were giving graphic design course and it cost um, an, an, an arm and a leg. Shout out to my parents. It cost an arm and a leg. Shout out to my parents because they could afford the two. You know what I mean? It cost me like, I think it was like 46k a year or something. Like, I'm very fortunate. You know, I'm very blessed. Um, um, but I'm going to share with y'all the very same ingredients for that 46k um, um, worth of a course and I'm going to be giving you guys that for less than 1000 bucks. Alright, so stick around. Stick around. You want to stick around. We're going somewhere with these. But in any case, so here I was. So I decided, um, okay, cool, I'm going to take on this graphic design course. And on my orientation day, I found out that graphic design is very closely linked to um, 3D animation. And 3D animation is something that has always caught my attention and it's something that I wanted to get into because at that point in time, you know, I happen to be a, very, a, um, a serial video gamer myself. So as they say, so they do not lie about graphic designers being um, serial um, um, video gamers. You know, I love playing video games. I just, I just don't have the time right now because obviously I'm trying to grow this company I'm trying to help you guys grow your companies as well so I don't really have the time to play video games but I hope that um, um, very soon I will all right so and then I thought I could be a video um, a video game designer or developer or modeler or something along those lines because I really like 3d but um, you know as I was going through it in that year I, I realized there were not a lot of opportunities um, here in South Africa that offered anything for you know 3D 3D um, designers or game designers. I mean, there's not even a game design company until today. I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys are welcome to drop it in the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong. But I don't know if any um, game developing um, company. I wish somebody could take it to those heights in this country. But in any case, so those were the challenges I realized I was in the face after school. You feel me? So. And then there was something called multimedia design. So with graphic design, it's got a lot of um, different legs. We're going to get into them. Um, I want you guys to stick around. Um, so this is what I thought. This was my journey. And I decided to then focus on multimedia, which is now giving me the leverage to sit here and tell you guys the story. And even furthermore, tell you to subscribe right now because you do not want to miss anything. Right? Cool. So um, we're going to go into... Um, the announcement for the first winner and you guys are making this too easy I think I saw like two or three um, people that voted and a raffle of two or three is weak this person is getting a service that's worth um, 800 rands um, so I think that's about $45 if I'm not mistaken um, so yeah guys um, you will see the difference and I will document this to show you guys that I mean this when I say it so do go down and vote right now it's me is signing out and who's me is key Litsualo, our director senior graphic designer 17 years of experience almost two decades um bushido 33 signing up i see you guys on episode three stick around for the poll competition you might just be the winner feeling lucky it is competition time Congratulations to this week's poll raffle winner, Joy Mutamedia, who responded with option B to select Tabsa Bank for having the better rebrand against F&B and Payoneer. Bessier Inc. Media and Branding looks forward to branding your Facebook page. Thank you to all participants who joined the poll. Your poll entries are still valid and will be re-entered into the next raffle. The competition closes on February 24, 2023. We still have three more winners to pick. Follow Bezier Inc. on Twitter for more information and authentic aesthetics. The Swag Jordan, your ear to the streets.